The first thing I start with is making the coil. So I cut 19 centimeters of a 22 gauge wire. With sandpaper, I cleaned about a centimeter of each end of the wire. I grabbed 6 mm drill bit and I wound 8 turns around its shaft. Then I chained the two ends of the coil to make it easy for soldering later on. I'm extending the coil to be 8 mm long. I soldered one end of the coil to the positive pin of the battery holder. I grabbed my transistor and I bent the collector and the emitter towards the outside. Then I soldered the collector pin to the remaining end of the coil. I took 330 ohms resistor, I soldered one pin to the negative pin of the battery holder and I soldered the other pin to the emitter of the transistor. After that I trimmed all the non-necessary wires and I adjusted and bent the left wires. I want to mention that the schematic and the parts list are in my website, the link is in the description. I took a 15 picofarad capacitor and I soldered it in parallel with the coil. Then I soldered 10 picofarad ceramic capacitor on the collector and the emitter of the transistor. The next step was to solder 1 nanofarad ceramic capacitor in parallel with an electric microphone. After that I took a 4.7 kilo ohms resistor and I soldered it to the positive pin of the electric microphone. I soldered the remaining leg of the resistor to the positive pin of the battery holder. I adjusted and made everything closer so I can solder the base pin of the transistor to the positive pin of the microphone. Before that I soldered the remaining leg of the 330 ohms resistor to the negative pin of the microphone. For the antenna I just used spring that I stretched and straightened one of its ends. Now I'm soldering the antenna on the collector pin or between the coil and the transistor. Now our spy bug is done, all we need to do is tune it. To do so, insert the battery and put it close to an FM radio, then start scanning for a feedback. Now you know the frequency of your transmitter. To increase it, all you need to do is expand the coil, and to decrease it, compress the coil. I wanna note that this design is very unstable. The frequency of the transmitter changes if you touch the antenna or the circuit. One last step to do is to hold that coil and the components with hot glue. If you like this kind of videos, give this one a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, consider subscribing and see you in the next video.